All new surveillance video from a hit and run in Archdale in Randolph County early yesterday morning looks as if the driver of the car intentionally went after the victim. You see the video of the jogger and then the car making a U-turn speeding up and off camera hitting the jogger. Now that jogger is speaking out in hopes of finding the person responsible. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. This video is so troubling. Fox 8's Natasha Lagur is following this investigation for us. So Natasha, what did officers tell you? Well, Archdale police saw the surveillance camera videos and they do say that the behavior from the driver is very bizarre. Now, police found the car in Guilford County and it also found drugs inside of it. As for the jogger, she hopes police can find the person and put them behind bars. Scare <laughs> Like, <laughs> scare's the biggest thing. Um. <laughs> They took something away from me. That's the woman you see in this video jogging in Archdale's Kingsfield neighborhood. But if you notice, the driver of this white car appears to be stalking her as she does her morning running routine. Moments later, that car passes her, turns around, speeds up, and hits her. When I saw the video, it's like my blood boils, uh, I get angry, my hands shake, my voice quivers, just like kind of like now. Um, you don't know what you're going to do. The jogger, who we are not identifying, could be heard on this video screaming for help while the driver comes back. And I could feel it coming like behind me a little bit. And then I was on the curb. And then next thing I know, I just felt the impact. And then I don't know how I got up. But I somehow got up and went to the house and started banging on the door asking for help. Tuesday, you could still see what was left of the accident. Two bended mailboxes on the ground and car tires on the grass. Police did find the car, but no suspects yet. All of it was very surreal, to be honest. I didn't realize that I was, I didn't start feeling pain or anything. I think because I wasn't letting anything like sink in that this was actually happening. I just couldn't believe it. Doctors say she's lucky the impact didn't kill her. She has to go through an eight week recovery program to get back on her feet, but she's not sure if she will have the courage to run again. I want people to know when this person needs to be caught because this, this doesn't need to be happen. It shouldn't happen. And police are getting new leads as of today. Now the Archdale Police Department and High Point Police Department are working together and they found out that this car is a stolen vehicle. And it also looks like it has been in several accidents before the hit and run. Live in Archdale, Natasha Lagur, Fox 8 News.